Well, last year, Kirksville High School had to play all their games on the road when the stadium fell into disrepair. But this year, oh, it's a different story. In mm. fact, Friday kicks off the high school football season and communities mm. all across Ohio, you know, they pack the stadium, cheer for their favorite team. That's right. But fans at one local high school may be cheering the loudest. Reporter Kevin Landers shows you why. They've played high school football in Crooksville for more than 100 years, but never on a field like this. Ready. Don't tell the Crooksville Ceramics freshman quarterback Parker Addington that a field of dreams is just for baseball. We're freshmen. We had to play our whole entire career on this super nice field that we just got. It's just, it's just amazing. Amazing because in just one year, Crooksville went from this old football field to this essentially going from its league's worst football stadium to the best. Yes, I mean, that's one way to put it. We did. A bit of history. The old football stadium at Village Park fell into disrepair when a light pole fell and cut off power to the stadium last year. The school district didn't own the field, so legally it couldn't make the repairs. After months of negotiations to buy the field failed, the district decided it was time to build its own stadium on school property. It's just a game changer for our small rural Appalachian community. Aaliyah Barker wrote the grant that allowed the school to pay for this state-of-the-art stadium. It just radiates pride. Gone are the days when the team changed in a pool room bathroom. Now they have their own locker room. A weight room will go here. There's a new press box and additional stadium seating along with LED lighting and no more grass. It's a different feeling because we haven't had turf. The team's head coach says getting his kids focus on game day may be a challenge. I'm, I'm a little nervous for, you know, trying to keep them calm, you know, trying to keep them calm. They've never really played an experience like this. After going 0-9 last season and having to play every game on the road, it was a trying year for the Ceramics. This stadium, this season, this team is looking to start a new tradition. Our stadium is going to be up top tier with, you know, a place where people are going to be envious and want to come see and watch. The Crooksville Ceramics open up at home Friday night, and no matter what the score says on their new scoreboard, the city of Crooksville is already a winner for what it's accomplished. Reporting from Crooksville, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.